gentlemen, this is John from Just John in April. Coming to you on Valentine's Day. About 20 years ago, I made the first mistake of my marriage. I forgot about Valentine's Day. Actually, I didn't really forget it. I deliberately did not celebrate Valentine's Day. In fact, I told my wife, I said basically, hey listen, Valentine's Day is not like the other holidays, it's just a made up one. Basically, they decide and find a way to get some money. So they come up with some fake thing to make it so that I have to go out and buy you flowers or whatever. I made some joke about it and just kind of brushed it off. Valentine's Day comes and goes. I do nothing. My wife tried to be okay with it. And probably a week or two later said to me, you know, John, I really didn't like the fact that we didn't do anything for Valentine's Day. I mean, it didn't have to be anything big. It could have just been a card, but you know how much I love that kind of stuff. I realized, I kind of hurt my wife by disregarding this opportunity to be able to celebrate our relationship, whether it was a made up day or not. And so I say, you know what? I'm never gonna do that again. So every year since then, I have always acknowledged Valentine's Day. So I'm gonna show you gentlemen how you can do this too. Use this opportunity to be able to show her that you actually love her. So here's the tip. You don't have to spend a bunch of money. All you have to do is be thoughtful. Think about the things that she likes. Give it a little bit more thought than you usually would. So for instance, today, it is 37 degrees outside. I'm gonna go to Starbucks right now and pick up my wife's favorite drink from Starbucks. She loves chai tea, but she likes it with some squirts of hazelnut. So I'm gonna go to school today and surprise her with that. i am also got a couple other things up my sleeve to give to her this morning. These are little personal touches that you can add to be sure that the woman in your life really feels loved and appreciated on a day like this. Cupid Red on. I even got my fire engine red J's on today. All right, let's get out of here. All right, fellas, so a couple of things to remember. First of all, if you know your wife's love language, that's always a plus. Because if you can feed right into that love language, you'd be surprised at how far you could get. And I want you to resist the urge to like downplay the importance of something just because it's not important to you. If it's important to your wife, fiance, your girlfriend, She's gonna feel like extra loved because she knows that this is something you don't really care about, but you know she cares about it. My wife, her primary love language is words of affirmation. And it turns out, I'm not a big words of affirmation person. So whenever I do something in the area of words of affirmation, it really makes her feel good. So anytime I take the time to say something nice to her or buy her a card or something like that, man, it goes a long way. So. The card I have for her is like perfect. It's the exact kind of card that she likes. Uh, I didn't write it, but it sounds like I did. <laughs> and she's gonna like the fact that I took the time to look through all these cards to find the one that fits what she would want. Remember, you're trying to be thoughtful. So you gotta think some things through. My wife is actually allergic to flowers. So most guys, you know, last minute, they forget that it's Valentine's Day. They get up on Valentine's morning. They rush to the store and they grab the stuff that's in the section for Valentine's Day. And of course, they're suggesting things that you should be getting. Very often, the stuff that's in that area does not work for my wife. Not only is she allergic to flowers, she's also allergic to milk. So all those chocolates and stuff that you would normally buy a person, I can't get my wife because she's allergic to that stuff. But then I take a little bit of time. She's going to be excited because I found her some vegan dark chocolate. And it's very rare to find that. Uh, most of the dark chocolates, even though dark chocolate itself doesn't usually have milk in it, uh, some of the other ones that are specialty usually do. And I went through and looked through a lot of stuff just now and finally found some vegan ones. She's going to be very happy about that. I would like a um, chai latte with almond milk, some uh, hazelnut in there. $5.99. Thank you. This is the most expensive thing that I'm buying her today. <laughs> Six dollar chai latte. Good morning. How you doing? Good, how are you? All right. In the Valentine's Day spirit. That's exactly what's happening this morning. <laughs> Thank you, man. Uh, yeah, have a nice weekend. You too. Let's 
Vapor likes this. Mm -hmm. Just in case you want to see, here's the receipt, gentlemen. This is less than 20 bucks, $15.08. All right, time to go inside. Let's see how this goes. Why you guys have it? Oh my goodness. What? And I need these right now. Oh my goodness. Why do you need those? It's kind of the part. Every sister. Oh my god, I wish you two. Oh, thanks, sir. Thank you very much. Right, 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 right. You have to read that one. Well, you can read that one now. That was not as bad. You're welcome. All right, so as George Bush would say, Mission accomplished. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell to be notified about our next episode. See you next time. Bye.